so let's talk about anchoring real quick. And uh, I'm in an anchorage right now on the Rhodes River up in the Chesapeake Bay. The sun's about to go down and I'm looking around through here. And I'm seeing quite a few boats. Um, I did a count and I think I was around 27 boats. I'm going to show you what I have for, uh, for my anchor lights because it's not stars in the water. And my boat, it's a little different. It's more like you can see my boat from miles away. So up on the uh, back stay, see it right there? It's 25 feet off the ground. And then up on the bow, and tight anchorages I like to hang right there. Um, and the uh, Harbor Freight LED lights. The lumens is like 850 to 1300. Two nautical miles is 650 lumens. This is a two nautical or a three nautical mile light. It's supposed to go up there. The problem in the Chesapeake Bay is when you're in a tight anchorage like this, nobody's looking up. Everybody looks straight. In fact, I even talked to a friend of mine who's got a summer console, and he has said he's had several almost collisions with other sailboats because you can't see them. Uh, and I'll show you an example here behind me. You see this boat here, his anchor light's on, so is his. They're not very bright, and at nighttime, that could be a star. It should be down here. Up here, it meets all the parameters. It's 360 degrees, and it's really cheap, and any manufacturer can put one up there, and it's cool, but up there, it's a star. Down here, it's an anchor light. And to prove my point, I actually have a trawler in the anchorage, and he's right there, and his anchor light's on. And that would be in the trees, and you would see that. So, pull your anchor lights down. Because, you know, doing just the minimum isn't exactly always great. It's like having those orange PFDs in your boat that, you know, nobody uses. Anyways, night.